What's up everybody, it's Tim back again with another van video. This one is about the headliner. Now the headliner is that uh, cloth piece in the cockpit above your head. I wanted to remove it. I wanted to insulate it because it's right next to the windshield and it's right next to the roof with the solar panels on it. So it's gonna get very hot. I wanted to insulate it and I wanted to sound deaden it because you guys know I love sound deadening. So this video is just about how to remove it what I did to insulate it and how I put it back together. It should be a real quick one. I hope this helps you if you have any comments about it, whether or not it was effective. This video is short. I hope it helps you. I'm gonna take the headliner off, uh, stuff some kill mat, my favorite thing in the world, and some 3M Thinsulate sort of make it cooler up here. As you can see, it's uh, bare metal and it's summertime in the valley right now and it is hot. So it's pretty simple. First thing you do is you kind of push these things in to unhook this. Then there's four trim screws. Two on that side, two on the other side. You need a seven millimeter uh, wrench to take that out, socket wrench. It's like there's four trim covers that I gotta take off. You see that thing? I gotta figure out how to take that thing off without making it super ugly looking. A pretty fine edge. I might need to like just gently put a knife in there to pop it out. I'm sure these just pop out and there's a trim screw under it. Let's get to it. Yeah, I was right. I just took like a dull knife blade, topped it into the edge here. Came right out. Uh, pretty easy. There's a seven millimeter trim screw. There's four of them. I'm gonna take them all off. Oh, I see one more at least right here in the center. Where is that thing? What's holding this thing up? Ah, there is a screw. I found it. You gotta take this part out. There's two clips in the front. They're plastic, don't break them. I just broke one get to what looks like the last bolt, seven millimeter bolt. Right here. here we go, I think it's ready to come down now. It's definitely low enough for me to do my work. So I'm gonna roll on some kill mat here. Now I'm gonna stuff insulation. 3M Thinsulate shouldn't take long. There's plenty of room now for me to work. Sorry about the fan noise. It's uh, late July in the valley. It's 100 degrees. There's solar panels on the roof of this thing. There's no insulation right here yet. I'm hot, bro. Now, if you watch my other videos, you know I'm very, very familiar with Killmat at this point. It's everywhere. It's all over this van. So I'm gonna put all the sheets on first and then I'm gonna roll it on. It's gonna be a shoulder workout. All right, looks great. Nice thick layer of kill mat. Just kills the vibration, man. Kills the bad vibes. So I'm going to do the really fun and sweaty part of rolling this on now. Okay, uh, that part's done. Now I'm going to stuff as much uh, Thinsulate in here as I can. Okay, I took a little bit of a break. It was really fucking hot. Um, I cut the Thinsulate. The stuff's kind of hard to cut. Razor doesn't really do it. Getting through the actual white cloth part is actually pretty difficult. I wish I had a saw, honestly. Um, I cut a piece, it's about five feet long by three feet, and I'm gonna stuff it in there. Okay, there you have it. All I need to do now is uh, 
put the trim screws back in and it should be good to go. All right, so there you have it. Headliners back up. We got kill mat on the inside there and it's got a bunch of 3M thin slit. Nice and thick with insulation. If you take out the time, it took me to just figure out what goes where, then, um, then yeah, man, pretty painless. So there you have it. That's how you take off and put back on the front headliner in a four transit medium roof, as well as um, put some kill mat, some thin slit on the inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please check out the Patreon. I want to thank all the people that have been supporting me on this channel for a, a long time. You guys have really made this dream a reality. It's nice to be able to convert an idea in my head into my living space. So stay tuned for more videos. We're doing all sorts of stuff, swivel seats. We're doing electrical work. We're doing framing and wheels and tires, wheel well liners, the whole bit. So please check out any of the other videos that I'm going to be posting or that I have posted and let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it. Thanks for watching guys. So check this out. Uh, the last thing I want to say is that you want to be really careful with that dome light piece, the part that you saw me struggling with the last screw. I ended up breaking one of those plastic clips and if you want to replace it from the factory, you have to get the whole assembly, which is like a hundred bucks. So be very careful when you're undoing that dome light. I do not want you guys to waste a hundred dollars like I did. The project was totally successful. I'm totally happy with it. It's much, much cooler in the cab. The ceramic insulation on the windshield, the insulated headliner, and the extra noise deadening and sound canceling stuff on the floor really makes the ride a quieter, cooler experience. I believe that I save gas on air conditioning. And you know, when I'm blasting tunes in the car, it sounds great. There's less road noise. Now, is it as quiet as a Bentley? No, but uh, you know, for a, a van that I converted myself, I am shocked at how quiet it is. In fact, most of the noise comes from the things that I've got rattling around in the back. Because it's so quiet up front, those seem much louder. So now I'm gonna try and figure out what to do about the things in the back of the van. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Big shout out to the patrons on Patreon. You guys made this happen. My mobile studio is up and running. I'm making music every day, new album on the way. Please subscribe, all of that stuff. And uh, if you have a comment to leave, go ahead and leave it. If you have a negative comment to leave, go ahead and leave it. Just remember that I know that it says more about you than it does about me. Love and light, everybody. Happy holidays. Go out there and have fun fixing up your van.